Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a vinyl update collection video. I did one a few months ago, almost a year now. Um, and these are most of the records that I bought within that time frame. Um, I'm recently getting back into vinyl collecting. Um, so I'm very excited to show you guys all of them. Um, I also very collect. So if you don't like people that variant collect, maybe don't watch um mostly very variant clips for records that i really, really really love and artists that i really love so yeah anyways let's just go ahead and get started i have all of them onto the side over here so the first one that i have it is El aura um the gods we could touch this is the urban Outfitters pressing that i ended up getting on sale for pretty cheap it is pressed on a gold vinyl which hopefully you guys can see uh, i'm not gonna take them out but unless it's really hard to tell but yeah i was very happy to get this one for sale i think I got it less than 15 dollars so i was really happy about this one and i love this gold pressing like this is one of the best gold pressings out there i think it's absolutely beautiful and i really love this record so I was happy to find this one. The next record that I have is Rina Sarwa. Uh, I can't really pronounce her name, but we have Hold the Girl. Um, this is also the Urban Outfitters pressing. And again, I got this one for less than $10. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this record, Sally. I was on a variant collect because I really um, enjoyed her debut record. Um, but I this album kind of let me down quite a bit. It's still kind of hard to tell the vinyl pressing here, but I just didn't love this record um, as much as I did her debut album. Um, but it is pressed on a really pretty color pressing here. Uh, I'm not really sure how well it's gonna show on camera, but I might insert like a picture over here. But yeah, sadly I just wasn't the biggest fan of this record. Um, but it wasn't. It's not a bad album. It just. I just wasn't fully in love with it um so i was happy to only get this for like ten dollars um it was so cheap so i was so happy i did not pay full price for this one but i'm very happy to own it in my collection i have mariah carey heartbreaker single here and this is just a single 12 inch from urban outfitters which is just pressed on a pink pressing here um i'm collecting anything mariah carey every time i see it uh, for the most part, um, and I just love this picture, so I just had to get it, and again, I got this on sale as well, so it was like less than $10, and yeah, so I'm just happy to own this, so yeah. Another Urban Outfitters single from The Marias, this one is Hush, um, I really love this song, and then here's the color pressing, which again, you can't really see that well so let me take it out and hopefully you can see it better yeah you can kind of see the color pressing it's very beautiful i really love it and i love this song so it's happy to own it on a 12 inch single um i have not i don't own any other albums in full so i really want to get their albums on vinyl but for now i just had this um 12 inch single and I play it a lot. I love this song. So um, I was happy to get this. And again, it was also on sale, so I just had to get it. Um, but hopefully I pick up their albums on vinyl because they make really good music and I definitely need it on vinyl. <laughs> so another one is a Runaway by Aura. Um, another 12 inch single from Urban Outfitters. As you can tell, I made a big order when Urban Outfitters was having a sale, um, and this was one of them. And this one is just pressed on a cloudy clear pressing, so nothing really fancy, but I like the song, I like Aura, so, and again, less than $10, I picked it up, so, yeah. We have Beach Bunny here, this one is Emotional Creature, this one is an Urban Outfitters pressing again, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one is such a pretty color pressing here, I'm going to go ahead and try to show you this one better because I really like it and I think it's gorgeous. I love the red vinyl with yellow splatter. Hopefully you guys can see that well on camera. Um, 
I like the album. I like um, Peach Bunny. I don't very it to collect for them. Um, and I'm glad I don't. Um, I like their music, but I don't love them enough to very it to collect. Um, but I own, I'm pretty sure I own all their albums on vinyl. Um, and I just love this final pressing. It was very pretty. Also, the album cover is just absolutely stunning. Um, I love it. So, very happy with this one. We have Turning Red right here, the soundtrack. I love this movie. Um, it's such a great movie. Um, and I, this is a Target exclusive on red vinyl here. And I got this one also for like $10. It was on sale. So I was really happy to find it on sale. Um, especially because I do love the movie and the songs on here are pretty great. Especially the ones that Phineas and Billy wrote for the album. Um, such a great soundtrack um and the movie is great so i was just really happy to get this for ten dollars i have ryan betty on his latest latest record here i can't really pronounce the actual album title but it's just pressed on a standard black um it's been years since he put on a record so it's so so nice to hear new music from him and this album is absolutely beautiful and amazing and i love it so much um it was very pricey though i think i'm not really sure but i feel like it was pricey for the actual record it was um but yeah it's just thinner black um and that's fine me this is so pretty and yes such a great album <laughs> We have Tesla Violet, My God, on a hot pink vinyl here. And here it is. Hopefully you can see that. But it's just a hot pink record. It matches the album. They also had a yellow pressing that matches her hair and everything. But I think the hot pink was honestly the best way to go for this album. It's a really good album. I wasn't expecting much from this record, to be honest. I did enjoy her other, or like, work before in the past but i just like wasn't expecting much from this record but it was actually a really fun pop record and i definitely recommend checking this album out really really good we have madonna here this is the finally enough love number one remix collection thing um this is the target exclusive and i also got this on sale i think it's like less than 15 dollars that i paid for um, which I'm really happy about. I'm collecting Madonna records as I find them and whenever I can. And this is just press on a clear pressing. I love clear pressings. I know people don't, but I personally love them. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy that I was able to get this for very cheap. As you can tell, a lot of these records, somehow I was lucky enough to find them, um, on sale or I found them used on my local record store as well. Um, but yeah, very happy with this one. We have Iggy Azalea, The End of an Era. This record literally took over in over a year to get to me, which is was, was so frustrating, but I was so funny to get it. So happy to get it. Even though this is probably my least favorite Iggy Azalea record, I don't just don't think it was that great. Um, but I just needed it for my collection, so I bought them. And they were supposed to be signed as well. Um, but lastly, she just couldn't get them signed. Literally, her merch team was terrible with everything, but whatever. But this is such a pretty, pretty color pressing. I just love this color vinyl. I think it turned out amazing. So at least the records um, were gorgeous, but yeah, it just took forever to arrive, which was so stressful. But uh, yeah, this is the deluxe edition I forgot to mention. And I'm pretty sure they don't sell these anymore, but yeah. But I also have the standard edition here. So here is that, and here's the deluxe. So you guys can see the difference on the album cover there. But yeah, this is just a standard edition. So I only have the standard tracks on this one. But again, this one was supposed to be was supposed to arrive signed, but it wasn't again, which is so sad. And this one was also pressed on a really, really nice color pressing. Probably harder to show this one, but yeah. 
I do like the color pressing of these. So, yeah, but yeah, these took forever to arrive. And hopefully, next time Iggy comes out with a new album, it doesn't take a year to arrive. But yeah, so those are those. Okay, so the next record is a bootleg, but I just really wanted a color pressing for this record. And there's only, you can only get it like, it's only pressed on the standard black. And I just wanted to get it on a color pressing, even though I think this color doesn't really match the album cover. But it is Lana Del Rey Paradise EP. And this one is a bootleg, like I said, and it's just pressed on this baby blue. I know, but yeah, it's just press on a baby blue color pressing. It's a bootleg. Um, I don't really play this one. I just wanted to get it on a color pressing, and I just want to own anything Lana well, Del Rey on vinyl that I could get my hands on. So yeah, I bought this, um, and I'm happy that I own it. So yeah, the next Lana Del Rey record that I ended up buying is. Lana Dre as May Taylor. Um, this is her Sirens album that she made. Um, then it was taken off the internet. And here is the color pressing. Again, this one is also a bootleg pressing. This is a double LP here. And this one is kind of hard to tell, but it is like a clear, foggy clear. So yeah, this one's kind of hard to tell, but it is pressed like on a clear frosted white vinyl. And there's some white, uh, and there's some blue and green swirls, but it's very hard to tell. Like you can barely see it, but yeah, this one, this one is more clear than this one right here. Um, but I was just happy to own this on vinyl. And it is a bootleg, like I said, that I got a, at a rec record store so yes i have miley cyrus the climb this is a 12 inch single i love this song i love miley cyrus and this one is just pressed on a blue vinyl so nothing special about this this is part of the outfitters single days that they did and again happy to own and collect anything miley cyrus the next record here is one of my favorite artists um growing up like many years ago, we have Little Peep Crybaby. This is a record, um, an artist that I listened to a lot in high school. And I'm so happy that it, his albums are finally getting pressed on vinyl. I love Crybaby. And this one is just pressed on a white pressing. They didn't really do much for the packaging for this album, but I just really needed this on vinyl. So I was just happy. That we got an official pressing for this record um and it's beautiful and i love it um and it just means a lot to me um i love little peep um i love this record such a good album so and then i have charlie poof um nine track mind this is part of the atlantic 35 anniversary thing they got going on and this is pressed on a crystal clear pressing um and i haven't owned this album yet so I was happy to pick it up on the crystal clear vinyl. Um, I enjoy this record. I know it's like bad technically, but I think it's a fun pop record. So, yeah. I have Omar Apollo, um, his debut album, Ivory. Um, this is the Urban Afters pressing, which is pressed on a red vinyl here. I adore um, this album. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, this is a record that I want to variant collect because I really, really do love this album a lot. Um, so hopefully I end up doing that. But so far, I only have the red pressing from Roman Outfitters here with me. But yeah, I love this record. Another childhood album for me is Sundaya's self-titled album. I never expected this album to ever be pressed on vinyl, but I'm so happy that it did. Um, this is the Urban Outfitters pressing on a red translucent vinyl here. I adore this record. Uh, again, this is the album that I grew up with. I'm trying to see, it came out in 2013. So I was 13 when this album came out. I love it. I'm 23 now, um, and I'm just, this album is just, so amazing um, and I'm so happy like I said that it's on vinyl finally 
Then we have Maggie Linderman Paranoia here. This is just a standard black pressing and it was only $15. So I picked it up. I did want to get one of the color pressings, but I just never got around to them and they're all sold out. Um, and then they were just releasing it on black vinyl and for $15, why not? So I'm happy that I did it because this is a really good record. So happy about this one. I then have the Proud Family uh, soundtrack. This is also an Urban Outfits pressing here. I love this pressing. This is a split pink and purple vinyl and I love a split pressing. Split pressings are just so pretty to me. So I was happy to own this one. And again, it was only like less than, less than $10. So I just had to own it. We have Taylor Swift here. This is the Live from Paris Lover um, heart shape records that she came out with. So there's two, there's a pink marble and a light blue marble pressing. I'm so happy to get this because it sold out pretty fast on her web store, like within the hour it sold out, I'm pretty sure. So I was just really happy to buy this and that I own it in my collection. Cardi B, um, Invasion of Privacy. I love this album by Cardi B. I think it's so good. Um, I know people don't like Cardi B, but I do. And this is pressed on a clear vinyl here. Um, and this is also part of the Atlantic um, anniversary thing that they got going on. So yeah, this is my second or third copy now of A Vision of Privacy. Like I said, I love Cardi B, so very happy to own this. I have Waste Blood and The Darkness Hearts Aglow. This is such a pretty album cover, like truly so stunning. Um, and this is just on standard black. I just got this on my local record store. I know there's color pressing to this, but I think black goes well with this one. Um, I think it's really pretty, so yeah. Okay, so the next few records I'm gonna show you are my Lana Del Rey. Um, they know there's a ton of under Ocean Boulevard variants that I have. So the first one here is the web store one or like the nude cover. And this one just pressed on a standard black. Very happy that I own this one. I love Lana. She's one of my favorite artists of all time. So I just try to pick up every single pressing that I can for her. Um, though I am missing some of them, so I don't own all of them quite yet. The next one is this one right here. And I'm pretty sure this one is the Urban Outfitters pressing. And this one is on this green pressing here, which I love this color pressing. I also love this photo right here. I think it's so pretty. So there's that one. And then we have the web store one, I think, <laughs> with this photo. And this one just pressed on a white vinyl pressing. I love this album, so good. Um, and really happy that I have all these pressings. The next one that I have is this one right here. This one might be the Amazon pressing, I think. And it's on like pink lavender pressing right here. Um, which a lot of people compare to the Ultra Violence um, Urban Outfitters. Pressing, which is pretty similar, um, but very happy, like I said, that I own these. And I think I only have one more pressing, and that is the picture that's here. Um, I'm not really sure. Was the picture this Spotify exclusive, maybe? I don't know. But here's the picture this. Very, very pretty. And yeah, I'm missing the Target pressing. I'm also missing the regular standard album cover on standard black as well. So hopefully I will get those eventually pretty soon because I do want to complete my collection of this album because it's such a great record and just because I also love Lana. So hopefully I get around to doing that pretty soon. So now I'm going to show you guys all of my Melia Martinez portals collection that I have. Again, I don't own every single pressing for this record. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. So we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys whatever I have. 
This one is the Web Store Edition of Portals. This one is on such a really nice vinyl pressing. This is pressed on a pink and black marble vinyl and I think came out really great. And also the Web Store one is the only one that made was made with a gay fold, which I found really interesting. I wish they were all gay folds to be honest, but oh well. But yeah, this one is the Web Store one. And happy to own that. The next one that I have is the Bloodshot Translucent Vinyl right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out because it's kind of hard to see. I really love this one. I think this one might be my favorite pressing of this album. Truly, really, really stunning. Um, just a clear vinyl with red swirls in it and it looks really, really good. So, yeah, I really like that one. Okay, so I have three more to show you guys. Um, this one is the Urban Outfitters pressing, which is pressed on a olive green vinyl pressing here. So that one's really pretty and it matches really well with the record. And then we have the Barnes Noble exclusive here. And this one's on a baby pink vinyl. Um, so yeah, Amanda Martinez is one of my favorite artists ever, like top three, so yeah. And also have the Target exclusive right here, and the Target is on a translucent red ruby vinyl pressing, as you can see there. Um, of course it is. <laughs> but yeah, that is all of my portals vinyl that I own very happy with these they're so pretty um and i am missing the walmart one um exclusive so i hope to get that eventually and i think i am missing another one or something but i love portals it's such a great record it might be her best one um so good so i love this album then we have mana martinez crybaby this is the anniversary deluxe edition that she came out with this came in a outer sleeve here but the actual record right here um is really really cool it's pressed on a baby pink vinyl and it's also pressed on a baby blue vinyl there um so yeah i think that's really, really nice and this one has the storybook on the actual gatefold when you open it which i think is really awesome um i am I think there's a Walmart pressing as well that I need to get, but I was so happy to get this one though Because I think it is sold out now So yeah, I really love this. I love this album. One of the best debut records in my opinion um, I know a lot of people won't agree on that, but to me it is. I really really adore this record Again, an album that I grew up from high school, like literally freshman year um, so I love this record. I have Tyler the Creator, uh, Flower Boys um, album, and this one is just standard black. And I got this from a local record store used for like less than fifteen dollars as well. So I was happy to find this one. I know there's color pressings out there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try to get those or not, but I'm happy with just the standard black. So yeah. Then we have Camila Cabello Familia. This one is the green pressing. I really love this record. And again, I found this one at my local record store for less than $15, which is such a good deal. Um, I love this album. And I think this is the Walmart pressing that was also sold at her web store. So really happy that I found this one. I have this Mar Mariah Carey, um, Mariah's theme, Can't Take It Away. I'm not really sure what this is, to be honest. Um, it got it at my local record store for like $5. It was very, really cheap. Um, so I have this here. Um, I don't know what it is, but also I really wanted it just for the album cover itself. Cause I really do think this is literally one of her best photo shoots for an album cover. Cause her album covers are not that great, to be honest, but I really love this photo, so. I just had to get it, and for five dollars, why not? Demi Lovato, um, Dancing with the Devil, the art that started over, um, and this one is pressed on a blue pressing here. I'm not really sure which pressing this one is, what exclusive it is, 
but again i found this at my local record store for less than 15 dollars and it was like the only one that i was missing for um my collection to be to be complete so again very happy that i found this for very cheap at my local record store and i love this album again demi lovato Mela martinez and lana del rey are my top three favorite artists of all time i love them so happy about this the little mermaid soundtrack this one is the target exclusive on this um oceanic blue color blend bin um pressing that's what they're calling it um here is the minor pressing hopefully it looks good on camera but i like it i think it's really really pretty so yeah and i haven't seen the movie yet um sadly but i do love the song so there's that but hopefully i'll watch the movie soon but really, really nice charlie xcx true romance this is the silver pressing repress i own the standard black pressing which ended up going out of print i'm not sure if the black pressing is even worth anything anymore because it was worth something for a while since it was out of print but not that the silver pressing is back i don't think the black pressing would be worth anything but i'm not sure but i'm happy that i own this even though i already own the standard one um the silver pressing looks good so yeah really excited about this one taylor swift minis this one was the west door moonstone or something pressing that it's kind of similar to the Target one um, that I don't have. And actually, not the most I'm pressing. This is the Love Potion, I think. That's what they call it. But it's like this lavender pinkish with white swirls in it. It's very, very pretty. Um, and I like it. So I was happy that I ended up buying it. Since I, didn't, I don't own the Target one. So... Yeah, I really like this one. We have Demi Lovato, Holy Fuck. This one is another one that I got at Malaco Record Store for like $15. And this one is the Crystal Clear Target pressing. This was also the other one that I was missing. Um, it was so expensive. I wasn't going to pay $30 for it, even though I love this album. It was just so expensive for a single LP that is not a gay fold. So to find it for $15, I was so happy about that. Uh, and I'm not keep saying that, but I was. <laughs> I found Bruno Mars, um, Do Whoops and Hooligans. Again, I'm not a record store for cheap. This one is the yellow pressing. Um, I wasn't gonna pick this up, but then, cause I'm not a really huge fan of Bruno Mars, but look at the songs. Um, these are a lot of the songs that I grew up in my childhood and they're actually really really good so i decided to pick it up and it was used it was really cheap as well so i was excited to add this in my collection now i'm going to show you guys all of my guts collection um for olivia rodrigo um there's so many final variants for this and i don't own all of them yet i think i'm missing like two or three more so maybe I will get those eventually, but at the same time, I already have so many. I really don't need more, but yeah. Anyways, we have the G Web Store pressing of guts. And this one is pressed like on this orange red vinyl here. And then we have the U version from her Web Store. And this one is on a white vinyl. And then we have <laughs> the T version from her web store. And this one is on a blue, like a very, very dark blue vinyl. So you probably won't be able to tell, but it's a very, very blue. It literally looks kind of black, unless you could kind of see the blue in it. But yeah, it's really hard to tell. And then we have S here. And this one is on a purple vinyl. The next one that I have is the Urban Outfitters Pressing, and this one is on a light pink vinyl, which I really, really love. This pressing, I think it's really, really pretty. Then I had the Lavender Indie Retail Exclusive, and this one is on a 
purple or lavender edition which I want to show you guys the two different purples just so you can tell the difference a bit here so they're a little different so yeah and then I have this this is the Amazon one um, and this one is like on a really pink hot pink vinyl pressing there and I also really enjoy this one yeah I think that one was the Amazon one I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken so yes and then the last they all fell <laughs> great but the last one here that I have is the Target pressing um, with the art cover but this one is the sea foam green not the regular one that you get this one it was signed and it came numbered and here is the sea foam green that you can hopefully tell and my they came numbered foil numbered and my number is 505 you probably won't be able to tell but i like the number that i got i think it's really, really cool and i was happy that i was able to get this these also sold out pretty fast online i'm pretty sure so yeah this one was really really exciting to own because it came with a sign insert so yes okay i'm gonna try to go kind of fast because i've been filming for a while and this is a thing forever <laughs> we have bb rexa bb and this is just on a light pink vinyl um then we have two copies of madison beard um size between songs this one is the white pressing and i have the standard black one here so i have these two but i also have the alternative artwork here and this one is on a white neutral natural vinyl pressing and i love this one because i love the album artwork for that but it's the same album and i love this record really really good and then this one just matches the overall album overall so yeah i just needed to get that one and now we're just last to the last four here five here so again i'm gonna go try to go kind of fast do we have ed sharon's latest album which is um autumn variation or something i'm not even sure to be honest but it's just pressed on a white limited edition vinyl and i have the nightmare before christmas soundtrack and this one is the Zipotroid um, edition here. These are cool, um, but they're also a scam because you can't really see the moving picture in like your own eyes. You gotta use the camera and film it, which is kind of dumb, but it's, it still looks cool though. But I just wanted to own it because I think it was really cool and yeah. And then we have Slater uh, Starfucker here. This one is the Spotify exclusive. And it's pressed on this nice hot pink vinyl pressing. I really love it. And I want to bring and collect the rest of this album. So hopefully I'm able to do that. But I only have the Spotify one for now. Um, we have Madonna here. This is the True Blue. Um, this is part of the server collection that they're doing, I think. But it's just pressed on a silver vinyl pressing there. And again, I'm slowly picking up Madonna records as they show up to me. Um, but yeah, I just had to get that. And then I have Little Peep Hell Hellboy. Oh my god. And this one is my favorite um, Little Peep project ever. Um, I love this record. And I never thought I was going to see it on vinyl. So the fact that it's officially pressed on vinyl is really, really exciting and the vinyl pressing is also really really cool which i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys out of this just so you guys can see it better but yeah i'm so happy about this so so pretty and they did a lot more with the packaging for this one compared to crybaby um this one came in a gay fold and pictured in their sleeves which were very very nice but yeah so happy about this one and that is it that is my updated vinyl collection um and one day i'm gonna film a full vinyl collection i have over a thousand records so hopefully that's gonna happen one day but i hope you guys enjoyed 
this video basically all the records that i bought this year so far and i'm probably gonna do another one at the end of the year because i'm assuming i'm gonna get a good amount of records between this time and then and i'll show you guys those but thank you guys for watching if you guys liked it make sure to like comment below subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys